Hi everyone, this is Sky here. I'm just coming on tonight for an impromptu recording about um, the interesting Capricorn energy that we're in. Um, I've just gotten onto the other side of the holidays and I've seen some very kind of odd, fascinating, but kind of um, jaw-dropping things lately. And I've been talking to so many people who have also been sharing some of these weird experiences. So I wanted to come on and just have a bit of stream of consciousness about um, this interesting and, and very different new paradigm that we've entered. Um, first off though, guys, I just wanted to say that January general readings are coming. If you guys didn't see my community post, which um, if you hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications, you should get um, the community post updates. But that's just a little blog section of my YouTube channel. If you like click over to the YouTube channel, you can see the community posts. Um, I am having to get a new computer because after, I guess, doing like hundreds of 4K videos, my computer just decided to quit working and, you know, it's holiday time, the shipping is slower. So that's supposed to get here between like January 10th and 14th, but still I'm, you know, making the January readings happen. They're just going really slowly because of the um, very slow export time of my now old computer. So um, I'm planning on January 4th at around 10.30 a.m. Eastern time to bulk post all of the Zodiac gen gen general readings for January. So yeah, January 4th, 10.30 a.m. Eastern time, they should all be available on YouTube. But if you guys want to jump over to my Patreon page, um, they are there as they are finished so the more raw ad-free versions of those readings are up on patreon i believe i've got them up to um like seven or eight of them already on patreon so you guys can jump over and check that out it's a great time to join my patreon page new year you know i'm planning a lot of exclusive 2020 content for over there which is such a blast so i'll link that below but um to get into the bulk of what i wanted to talk about this evening just casually with you guys is um i have seen all that I can quite explain it as is a bit of a bastardization of the assertion energy line. Um, that's quite, um, it's a lot of rhetoric, I know, but what I've seen is that people are really asserting themselves um, powerfully and not so appropriately. There's a weird thing with power schemes right now, power dynamics, control dynamics, and I think that us as like spiritual warriors and um, people who are really seeking a high vibration and trying to live in our authenticity, we have to watch out for how we're using power right now. Like truly guys, um, Mars is transitioning from Scorpio to Sagittarius, which is tempting to pull back the new, the new Capricorn paradigm into that Sag energy. And what I've also learned, interestingly, as I went through Sagittarius time and Capricorn time this year, um, I learned that there's a bit of an overflow of Sagittarius energy into Capricorn time due to societal celebrations. So we have Christmas celebrations and New Year celebrations into Capricorn energy. And I am seeing so clearly that it's just not really appropriate for the Capricorn energy, but it happens because there's a, a like a, a an overflow of Sagittarius energy um, into Capricorn energy. So we're that glamorous sort of celebratory, big spending, you know, having fun, staying up all night, not worrying about the amount of money that we're spending, um, getting drunk, all all of these like festivities and you know everything like bright flashing lights like it's all very Sagittarius energy that echoes into Capricorn time and for me as I'm like posting this which is probably on like January 1st or 2nd I've seen just in the last 24 and 48 hours that people are not respecting each other's boundaries people are not um, really caring about the wounds that they can create by being very overzealous or very in a power situation. So this is actually a theme in Capricorn energy. Um, as it is the 10th house, it represents power hierarchy. It represents like, it's like CEO energy, you know, like the king, the queen, the CEO, the person who's on top, the person who's at the top. And I've really seen that everybody is kind of trying to get a piece of that. Everybody is kind of trying to be the king or the CEO or the noble or the the person who is superior. So we are going to see as we move into Aquarius and Pisces time that superiority complexes give us a really long way to fall.
okay? Um, because this Capricorn paradigm is going to bolster a new type of hierarchical, almost aristocratic system, um, a sort of system of influence spiritually. And again, it's very, there's a lot of rhetoric there, but um, we are seeing new power themes and new power dynamics emerge. And some people are really using it in an unfortunate way from what I've seen so far. And maybe we've been able to observe this, but what can we do in response to that? And how can we work with that? How can we face that? How can we confront that? I've been trying to understand this myself. Um, for me, I've just, I, I went to lay down and I just needed a dark room for a little while because like I said, just in the last 24 or 48 hours for me, like odd things happened. I won't say that I had like any like direct trauma or any direct like pain, like it, people didn't confront me particularly, but I saw a family member be really um, harassed by somebody, not in a physical way, but I just saw someone like really become mean to a family member. I saw people get, you know, quote unquote, accidentally stolen from. Um, it's complicated, but just weird things. And, um, you know, huge lack of empathy from people lately I've been seeing and I've been seeing like and it's not again directly toward me it's weird because I, I as like a Scorpio have kind of been on the outside of it and kind of like looking in and kind of like watching it all happen um, to a degree but there have also been personal things for me but it's not so much about me I'm not just trying to talk about myself here um, but I've seen that people are really struggling to relate to each other, really struggling to put themselves in each other's shoes and instead demanding that everybody else um, assume their stride or assume their like shoes, you know, yet with no degree of desire to really um, look at things from another perspective or to see, you know, why, why the other person feels the way that they do. And I think part of it is from the Jupiter shift that we've had. You know, we had Jupiter and Sagittarius for all of 2019, which really builds our egos, you know, even in positive ways. It makes us value ourselves. It makes us feel more empowered. It makes us have more energy. It makes us feel like we deserve things, which is all really good and needed. But it's like when that then shifts to Jupiter and Capricorn, we start to see the negative side of that and we start to see people really trying to act superior, really behind their own power, yes. But now using that in more of a 10th house way, in more of a, do you know who I am? How dare you speak to me? Like, I'm going to tell you my truth and therefore humanity's truth. Like, there's sort of a divine right that people can kind of assume during this time. And um, what is hard to see is then the Jupiter and Capricorn really like smashing that flat. So people start to feel flattened as well for doing it, which makes them try to like desperately. It's, it's sort of like as parasites start to die or as a leech starts to die, it tries its hardest to invade the host. Um, so that's another thing for right now. Parasites, um, things that are leeching off um, symbiotic relationships. Um, Capricorn energy can nurture that because it's about, again, it's that 10th house sort of overlord energy in a, in a negative uh, way. When, it, when it's operating negatively, it's the overlord that consumes all of the resources of, you know, the peons is the energetic theme. And then when it's operating highly, it's the example. It's the person who does not take but leads by example and, you know, do unto others as you would have them do to you. And the person who truly is in that and it's not egoic. Um, so anyway, as I was saying... Um, it is a time where like the maybe the parasites are feeling threatened so they start to like burrow deeper to try to survive and there's a healing crisis within that so i just wanted to kind of alert you guys to that and say that i've seen it more than i've ever seen it before actually of um people being really connected to their own personal power in a toxic way and um what can we do about it? I just think that we have to beware of doing it ourselves. Like, I think that even I can see, like, like I can be in my own humanity and see, like, okay, maybe I'm getting behind my own power in a weird way, too. And I'm going to start looking at that myself. And, and we all we can do is, like, go within and, of course, see, like, our own vibrational level and see, you know, where we're at, where we're um, operating from and try to fix it there first. And then beyond that, it's just about... You know, what type of situations are we getting ourselves into? What types of, um, you know, for example, like adding alcohol onto the fire, <laughs> things like that. We don't want to, we want to really avoid that here. And um, any like triggers, trigger points, um, catalyst energy. It's, it's not the time for a catalyst, basically, is also what I'm learning about this period of time. 
It's all about the maintained growth. It's about the things that have been going on for a long time without the trigger point, without the catalyst. So also kind of what we see here is just sort of a raw untapped power just kind of swinging around everywhere. There aren't really specific trigger points. A lot of jargon, again, I know. There aren't really specific trigger points. It's just untapped untapped power kind of swinging around and people are kind of grabbing at it. It's sort of like money just raining from the sky and people go into a desperate like maneuvering to pocket as much of that money raining as they can this is sort of the energy of the capricorn energy line we also had that capricorn eclipse on the 26th of december which we're feeling for sure until you know late january so that's part of this too and you know um i would say watch out for power right now watch out for starting things for starting emotional conflicts with people even inadvertently but you kind of know in the background and try to be as much of a pacifying force as you can be um, w without being like enabling that's sort of like a key point how to pacify without enabling how to defuse without avoiding okay um, these sort of successful middle ground areas will really separate the people who are truly behind their power and the people who are reckless with their power so um capricorn is kind of scanning the the saturn energy is kind of it's just now getting established and it's kind of scanning the area to see how people use the power that they have how they um stack their own cards how they stack the cards of others you know things like that um and it's it's fascinating to see i i I'm wishing a lot of love and light to you guys, though, and I hope that your holidays have been wonderful. But I just know I've had a big uproar of people being like, oh my gosh, I need a reading. The holidays were crazy. My holidays were, I'll at least call them different. Like, I, I did see a lot of, like, vampiristic, mean-spirited energy out. But then I also saw some really wonderful, like, uh, benevolent energy. You know, it always goes hand in hand. Like, for every action, there's an equal and opposite reaction. So to see a lot of pain, there's also a lot of healing and a lot of, like, wonder as well. Um, so that's there too. And um, as we move into the calendar new year, like January 1st till about January 21st when Aquarius time comes, don't forget that Capricorn is about complete structure, complete regiment, and complete routine. Um, the holidays undermine this just a touch because they are more they're all about spontaneity. They're about big spending. They're about dressing, you know, as like bright as you can. And again, Capricorn's a more um, sometimes understated energy, although it can be like um, glamorous in its way. But um, not to forget my point is that this is about like taxes, accounts, like saving, um, understanding what your next calendar year's plan is, understanding your budget for every month in the calendar year, um, getting all of your accounts prepared, um, understanding how many debts there still are, even emotional debts, but certainly financial debts, understanding um, is it time to refinance my house or my car? Can I pay off something that I have? Um, but then you can kind of look back and see, wow, I spent the entire amount of my debt on gifts for other people and I still have this debt or... Or wow, I haven't like um filed my taxes and um and that's gonna be a big problem coming up. So that that's what Capricorn it's it starts the seeds of problems if we're not like looking realistically at things. And for some reason there's a lot of emotional context right now. So there's a lot of emotional debt to parse through, which can be just as important sometimes, but um you know, this is the beginning of the ending phase. The calendar new year is not a beginning energy, but if it were, it's the beginning of the ending phase. The true new year is March of, uh, during the equinox time when Aries time starts again. So we're beginning to get things finished <laughs> with Capricorn energy. So you have to remember that. And, um, and yeah, I just kind of wanted to come on for a stream of consciousness because it, I just had those messages on my heart and I just wanted to offer some uplifting encouragement for those of you feeling like overpowered by people, maybe feel like people were, um, what's the word, um, overbearing, like feeling like people are overbearing or feeling like people are over emotional or vampiristic or narcissistic around you. These things are prominent right now and they're everywhere because again this this saturnian surge of energy is exposing people's weak points big time that's what saturn does and we've got all capricorn energy which is the sign that saturn rules so it makes the 
a Saturn energy prominent and majority right now. And what that does is it really quickly shows where the erosion is, where the weakness in the foundation is. So all of people's weak personality traits, and, and we I don't mean weak egoically, I mean all of people's personality traits or issues that keep them out of their power truly and out of being like um, strong get very obvious here. So in one way, you can really see people's true colors, but also don't forget how good they might be behind that too. And maybe they're just going through a difficult time. We do have to be empathetic right now. I do think as like, again, like as a spiritual warrior to be empathetic right now and to even understand where like the, the overlord is hurting or where the, um, where the drunken, you know, bar fighter is struggling. Like to understand that is also to overcome this too, but so yeah, everyone, I'm probably, going to, I'm probably going to conclude those messages at this point. Um, I would really love to hear your comments about how your holidays were. Um, if you guys had great holidays, I would love to hear about that too. Like if this isn't about like pity party or about just being negative for the sake of being negative or anything like that. Like um, I had some good holiday moments as well and I got to see some family members I hadn't seen in a long time. So I was really happy to do that, even though some things were odd as well. Um, let me know how it went for you and, and if you have any great plans for utilizing the Capricorn energy um, economically. So um, yeah, guys, uh, again, all January readings, I'm shooting for January 4th at 10.30 a.m. Eastern time. They should just be bulk available here on YouTube. But if you wanted to support my YouTube channel on Patreon, you can go ahead and get uh, most of them already over there. Um, and they're ad-free over there. And I have uh, a benevolence uh, stream that I do every month on Patreon. Um, it's a great time to start that here in 2020. And I do tea chats, you know, things that are only available over there that are sort of like in this type of vein. So if you enjoyed this, check out my Patreon page. And my website also still has some um, 2020 discounts over there too. So that'll all be in the description box. But I appreciate you guys for being around and happy calendar new year. We'll be talking soon. Much love. Bye.